All right. Thanks for staying with us. Now, earlier this week, Chicago State University released the academic records of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Following an order of a United States District Court in Northern Illinois, Atiku had requested that Mr. Tinubu's um, Chicago State University academic records uh, be released for use in, Ni in the Nigerian court to prove that he uh, or the president forged the um, the certificate that he submitted to the Nigeria's electoral body, INEC, to participate in the February elections. Now, his argument is that by allegedly submitting a forged certificate to INEC, Mr. Tinubu was not qualified to even contest in the first place. Now, recall that the president election petition court in Abuja, in its judgment delivered in September, dismissed the forgery allegations amongst other issues um, he and the other opposition candidate raised concerning the polls as unproven. With this latest development on Tinubu's certificate saga tonight, we're asking, should we focus as Nigerians on this or just move on? Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 3 So everybody is kind of like running away from this conversation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let us just put out a disclaimer there. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel like talking about it, but that is the only thing in the news to talk about. Right. Mm -hmm. And because, again, when we start to talk about these things, people just feel like we like to attack the government. Mm -hmm. So, you know what? Sitting back and looking at our lives as Nigerians, what has led us to where we are? It's important for us to look backward then so that we can move forward. You see cases of people getting people to write the exams for them. You know, they get into a job, they cannot function because why? Yeah. The result was not even theirs in the first place. They did not use their brain to get that. You know, so Mary, let me come to you. <laughs> because Mary seems like she's about to go <laughs> and switch up on us on this topic. But what do you think? Um, should Nigerians focus on this? No. Huh? No, don't focus. On because you, you seem not interested. Why? Why would you say we shouldn't focus on the on the certificate because what it is telling you is that the foundation if this is true right proven that his certificate was forged and this is a wrong certificate that was presented or is it is for it's for somebody else yeah. right shouldn't we as nigerians look at it that everything on that has been built on that foundation is faulty but they also certified that he did attend the school and he indeed did come out with a bachelor degree in accounting. Who? Yes, I was going to ask. Bola Tinubu. No, who certified it? Who said? Who certified the, it? There's a report that says the chancellor. Is it chancellor? So you know, I've been very quiet on this, right? Because I've been waiting. Remember that when it was said that the result was released. There were just so many things flooding the internet yeah. that now they've proven that this result is, uh, is genuine and all of that. I was waiting for the person that they handed over the results to. Mm. Atiku. Atiku Abubakar. To come out, to come out and, and talk. Yes. Mm. And that's why I actually said I was not going to say a word on this until the person that they handed over the result to say take mm. speaks. Because it seemed like there was so much agenda before now. They said the president had gone to different, I mean, appealing to the court that they should not, they should not release, release the result. They were going to ruin a lot yeah. of things, blah, blah, blah. You know, but they, they declined his, um, his appeal, yeah. right? So, uh, let me hear your thoughts, Dami. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, should we focus on this? I don't know, the answer is tricky because I could say, yes, we should, because, I mean, we demand um, accountability, really. Yeah. We can't just have a leader day who at this point feels like we did not put him there, but he's there, and then we just leave things to be, you know. But then again, on the other hand, should we focus on this? I would say no, because the truth is, like um, the Minister for Foreign <laughs> Affairs said... <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I'm, like, just, I'm just happy with that. I mean, like the Minister for Foreign Affairs said, it's, I mean, he said, although I don't understand why he must have said that, but... What he said was, um, we are just focusing on frivolous things, frivolous issues, like... We're not supposed to be focusing on this because even the international bodies that they are working with, they are very uninterested in the whole certificate saga. I mean, he made a very good point because we have more pressing issues in Nigeria. You know, we have infrastructural issues. 
what not because right now they will i mean there's a 40 percent increase on price of nepa meter i don't know why mm -hmm. it may move from 58k or something to 81k so it's, it's just really ridiculous so we have quite a number of other problems to focus on quite frankly but then again should we just leave it and say okay because we have other problems to focus on we shouldn't focus on the actual one that we have at and because i don't see a reason why why first of all a certificate was forged and after um the documents were given to article it was proven that so many things were wrong first of all identity theft because for someone who claims that he doesn't have a dual citizenship yeah the the on the documents it says it has a black american name mm -hmm. right so it simply means that what was submitted to INEC is not the correct one mm. if you claim that you don't have dual citizenship do you get what i mean so and then it's a female name that is on that so i mean really the only female. Female. and the certificate that was submitted to INEC claims that somebody graduated in 1970 and that the school, the school that that's um, i think um, what's the school now lagos they exactly. graduated some he graduated in, in 1974 1970 and the school. school was established in 1974 so i mean how do we put all that together really so it's a cost for it's a cost to to actually worry about it's, mm. it's a cost for worry but then again maybe because the way nigerian structure is is structured mm. in quotes it might be safe to say we should just move on because the truth is that we're going to just keep dragging and dragging and dragging this issue and at the end of the day it is already what it is we and can only hope that the supreme court right now rules <laughs> Fair and square. That's the only hope. If the Supreme, like Article said, if the Supreme Court rules and they say he is wrong, so be it. If they say he is right, so be it. So that's like the only hope that we have left. Okay, point. so the question is, should Nigerians focus on this or move on? I like the fact that you said it's tricky. And I'll tell you why. Right? Because what, what has happened is, if we have built our entire existence or our entire leadership structure on a lie mm. what this means is that you see every single time you go out remember that we took a story i don't know what they were it was now on our ranking of our passport they yeah. have de they have also de further demoted, demoted us, yeah. our passport yeah. right what it means is that wherever you go to as a person right the integrity that you know that that the so the integrity will be measured based on some of these things it's a different thing if nobody knew anything everybody just did hush hush and all of that the fact that certain things have been established you know i don't think we should move on from it mm -hmm. you know i am not particular about whoever wins an election and because again i know some people send some kind of nasty comments trying to say oh and i have told you people i'm not a journalist right mm -hmm. I just i am just someone that is a passionate human being and i think i believe in what nigeria can bring and i'm passionate about this country enough to care for her and put my life at risk because even sometimes talking about these things is putting my life at risk you know because it seems like when you talk anything and it seems like it's an attack on the government your life is at risk yeah, yeah. but the, the point is i i rather risk my life mm. than keep quiet and allow certain things to thrive when a certificate that you submitted it's just like you going to get a job you understand you've got to get a job and you have said that this is what your you can, do. you can do your certificate everything checks out only for them to find out years later you understand how do we how do we first of all trust that every other thing you're going to promise or, or every other thing you're going to bring forth you will deliver yeah. this is a case of integrity is a case of truth right is a case of okay oh, Whatever my word is my bond. I mean, there are so many things that it stands on. So you can't just wake up. You know, it means that whatever you tell me, you now, two of you, you marry somebody now. Marry, let me look at you very well. You that say you should move on. So you marry a man tomorrow, right? And the man tells you, oh, Mary, I'm this, Mary, I'm that, and, mm -hmm. and all of that. And you now find out, you know, that he's a liar. two years <laughs> down the line, that this man, every single thing that he said he was, he was a he was a Tinder swindler. Mm. What would you do? This your example. No, no, no. it's the same thing. It's, it's the same thing. It I mean, is I'll the same thing. Now. Eh? I'll walk away. So that's what. So what? So wait, wait, yeah. wait. If you cannot walk away from it, what do you then do? If you can, if Why if walking away, you, you cannot walk, walk away from Nigeria. Can, yeah, exactly. If walking away, if walking away is not an option, what would be the option? I'll move on from it. How? 
<laughs> so you would accept it? I mean, maybe, maybe you're not, you're not. I don't like your vibe this night. How, I don't know how else you want to solve, solve the problem. I don't know what else you want, but you're not going because to it's not like, because of Nigerians. You're problem. not going to keep on, you know, flogging the issue up no. and on. I definitely understand, and it's sad because how can we have? I mean, is 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 bad enough that this integrity thing is something we used to do on a low now. But now we have taken it to the mm -hmm. national level. Yeah. Our Oga at the top has come like to international say, level, you know, so. we don't have any integrity in this country. So even the individuals in the country must well not be truthful to ourselves. I mean, it's sad, but then because this is what you what you what we have done quietly is yes. if this is true, if it's true, right? We have endorsed. Impunity. Yeah. Mm. We are for that. So there was, like you said, it was subtle low key before we were yeah. doing it. No. But now we have endorsed impunity. We have endorsed dishonesty. We have in endorsed everything that is wrong. Because, you know, some of the things that happen to us as a people, right? Mm. You cannot tell. I always say to people that, do you know why I try as much as possible to run away from negative emotions? I've been there before. With negative emotions, you can't tell the negative emotions that, no, I just want to be angry and let the anger stop, stop here. here yeah. It's not it's, possible. It's a ripple. Yeah. Yeah. It is ripple something effect, that yeah. is it's very, it's very vicious. Consuming, yeah. Do you understand? It will consume your entire system. You yeah. don't even think straight anymore. Yeah. Mm. So Do you understand? It's good to attack it while... Do you, don't even let it in. Yeah. Mm. Do you understand? Yeah. So that's why no matter what anybody does to me, right? I keep it... You know, I, you, yeah, I can be angry... But I make sure that that anger does not come into my system. Mm -hmm. Because I've learned to master my emotions. To just make sure that there are some things you just keep aside. So this is how I am analyzing a lie. If something is built on a lie, what you will need to do to sustain it is that you need, on, need to keep on lying. lying. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? And you see with lies, it doesn't get any easier. No. It gets worse. You know, you, you have to now start fabricating things that do not exist yeah. just to sustain the initial lie that was told. So what would you, what would you like to, to be the judgment of? We can not be the judge. No, no, like, no, no, no. Let's no. end this show. No. <laughs> No, 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 He's the man for the job anyway. So why are we focusing on the, the fact that he doesn't job. have a certificate? This one who does not concern us. The suffering outside is too much. <laughs> where are you now? If they want to lie, lie that way. Please, can we just have can we just a beautiful economy? <laughs> like, the God is rising every day and it's affecting me. <laughs> That's my oh issue. My this certificate is very my problem. Okay, he has come you in see, now. Exactly. He has come in now. At what is happening? I, we are moving from worse to worse. That is exactly what the Minister of Foreign Affairs said. Like, we are just focusing on what is not, I mean, what it is important, quite all right, but <laughs> is it as important right now? And then I mean, every individual, too, who, who is not truthful is going to backfire because even abroad, um, I heard they're, you know, telling people to bring for their certificates to verify. So, if you are a liar to, you, if you want to oh, join no. your leader in the lying <laughs> game, you might as well, you know, see it to the end. But huh. if you want to lie, that's you good. know what? Let's take a break. I have to open our phone. Like, please, you should call. <laughs> Because I don't understand. <laughs> Baby, you, you've just used your mouth to say the pro what will happen eventually. <laughs> Thanks for staying with us. <laughs> if you just tuned in, it's our ladies' night out. And that me and Mary, I don't understand them this night. <laughs> 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 we're discussing the Tinubu certificate saga and we're asking, should Nigerians focus on this or just move on from it? Now, please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS. Or WhatsApp is very one eight zero three eight four six six three. You can also send um, call our phone line. The phone line is now open. Please, the number to call is zero seven zero two five zero zero seven seven four nine. That's the number to call. Remember to turn off the volume of whatever device it is you're watching us from, so we don't get a feedback. See, Mary, you you used your mouth to just bury yourself because you say first of all, let's just move on, let the economy be working, yes. and very.
but what you said mm -hmm. before we went on the break that people are being called up now do you understand and what, what, let me read what, a story what, before what, we what deadline why are they lying before? It's just to verify. It's the same now. reason somebody has lied. It's to verify the certificate now. And so they, why did they lie before? <laughs> so every every stone is going to be turned now. Now, so everybody buckle up. If I think another you're, reason you know why you're free, then I don't think we should. If have you have any, nothing to hide, yeah, right? You have nothing to hide. To hide. Yeah. Because I was even going to say that why was Tinubu trying to plea with plead rather with um um what's it called now? Is it the um, district court of us mm. that they should not release his certificate and documents rather to um, article that's because he knew that he was hiding something and then he didn't want it to be exposed but then again i think that the reason why many people are not even particularly keen on this entire subject is because of the person that is in court fighting for justice mm. because yeah article himself loki <laughs> on a low. I feel like article i feel like maybe the presidency thing is is maybe is it no, 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 I mean, no, so no, he no, wants that's to. Not fair. No, 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 because. That's not fair. We have a caller. Wait, wait, wait. That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take our caller for the evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Your life is the volume up. Yeah, hey, one of our late singers said, Argument, argument, argue, argument, <laughs> argument, <laughs> argue. I don't be thief. You be thief. Yes. So, you see, the joy about this whole thing is that. I once met a lawyer friend, he told me that them as lawyers, they don't lie. They are just elastic with the truth. On my way, I heard that English, that English, I just calmed down. I can't think of How can you be elastic with the truth? And I can't define elast what it means to be elastic. So if you draw truth from, from Lagos Island to maybe Ajogule, okay. it's been elastic. The truth no go caught. And it's not intact mm -hmm. and in origin in destination. So being elastic with the truth means that it's ne it's not going to be there, but it's not a lie. So for me, I want to personally tell you guys that nobody lied. It's just that they did not say the truth. <laughs> so let's keep on <laughs> the real <laughs> in this country. See, one day our savior will come. But as far as I'm concerned, let me just tell you the truth. We don't enter one chance along but because our integrity is in check. And one funny thing about Nigeria is that I don't really understand. Nigerian issues are so different that everybody plays interest in it. Everybody listens to Nigeria issue. Everybody wants to know the outcome. And nobody will say anything new, but they'll just keep it in the archive. And one day when you meet, when you say anything around the world, they say is it not your social person that did those whole thing? And they need to judge you that you'll be so calm that you can't even say anything. So basically, our integrity is hanging on the balance. Mm -hmm. So let's just keep on running the confusion like that, like that. Before you know it, I think we don't spend many moves now. Before you know it, we'll be in our door here, but here, where any day I will decide to be on the side of reality, there will be changes. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> hey, hey, what's hello, hey, boy? Nobody lied. They did not just tell the truth. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> what did you make one? Because it's a lie. This 2023 election and all the drama that has happened afterwards has shown me that never say never. See, mm. I can fabricate anything. I'll be justified. Honestly. Like, literally, like we have redefined so many things. Whatever happened to morality? Now, let me answer you about Atiku. And he said it that it's not because Atiku wants to be president. It's because, of what? it's because what needs to be done. We must uphold the the our heroes' past. We must uphold it. It's like pot calling kettle black. <laughs> so please, 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 let us uphold all of his justice. Let us so uphold. it's like, can, is that it could really fit to say we should uphold justice? I mean, <laughs> like I said, it's like, it's a case of pot calling care to black. So I think that's the reason why many people are not really keen on it. They're like, will integrity really stand? If someone like, I think so, so, that so the reason I justice. would say that we should move on, you understand? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just was coming you back. Just, you just <laughs> said that. The reason I would that's say true. that we should move on, but let me, let me take a caller first. Let me take a caller. Hello, you're live. 
Good evening, Ah, Loma. Good evening, no. Okay. Nice. Hi, Loma. Hi, Loma. See, I want. I want to the Thank you so much. So, yeah. so I mean, Loma just good, took yeah, the words out yeah, of my mouth. That the reason I would say that we should move on from this no, is not because it is not worth having, um, like, dwelling on. But, you see, when you're fighting against a system that you are not 100% sure of the integrity of justice, right, then it's a, it's, it's a, it, so it's a fight in futility. But, you see, like you rightly said, let posterity yeah, enjoy that. Yeah. Okay, yes, yeah, so we did our part. We fought it because, again, some will tell you that the only reason some of these court proceedings, you know, the appeal and all of that happened is because people don't want Nigerians to come and say, hey, see now, see that, see that. Because if they had kept quiet, yeah, it would be like, ah, they were not even ready for it in the first place. But the fact that they are following it through, which is not a common practice in Nigeria, mm -hmm. that the fact that they are following it through shows that, okay, yes, at least to some extent, they are trying to fight you know, for the right thing. And the right thing is, if the Supreme Court comes out back and says that, you know what, you know what off me? Let me, let me say with the one that just off me. May I use Gen Z language? The one way off me. <laughs> it was when the court threw out everything. The court threw out all the everything, saying nothing was substantial. Ah, come on. Let's take a call out. Good evening. Hello, you're live. Hello, Good evening. Go ahead, please. Good evening, doctor. Uh, good evening, man. Let me just define for you. Okay, go ahead, please. Okay, I want to move on the vision of what, whether we should move on or uh, continue to go on where we are. Okay. If we want to move to in this country, we uh, are somewhere to start. Mm. And it has to come from the head. Mm. Whether we succeed at the Supreme Court or we want to uh, succeed in the material. The material thing that we are doing something about forgery. Mm. The most important thing is for us to do something about it. Whether we deal with the system or not, is not, not uh, what we should concern us at this stage. Mm -hmm. uh, for forgery, the certificate, the criminal issue is bigger than one article, it's bigger than article, it's bigger than pitiable, it's bigger than composite. Mm -hmm. So, until we start getting things right in this country, I mean, mm -hmm. when or now we go to get things right. Is it our children that will get it right? Mm -hmm. Somebody said, uh, body, uh, uh, that in the police, is in the army, is in everywhere. Uh, are we in the country of particular podcasts? So I think uh, we should allow this whole country to do the If at the end of the day, we want to get it, not, people will know that uh, change is not working in the, uh, it's not a hundred meter push. Mm. It's something that they want to happen. We will not succeed, we will not succeed, but let's have a standard that certificate projects have no place mm -hmm. in our political life. Mm -hmm. Yes, so that I think Absolutely. Let's, let's sit down. So let's, 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 sit down let's follow down. through. Thank you yeah. so much. Yeah. And I didn't catch his name. Thank you so much. I mean, do you understand? Posterity, so you know, so it, it is a normal thing to just, in Nigeria, you know what? We are actually, we easily give up. The thing, the mm -hmm. edge, the edge that politicians have over us is our, would I call it lack of resilience? Do you understand? The thing is not working. I've been mojo, leave a mojo, move a mojo. You know, Nigerians are the kind of people that you will drive to a wall. They will bore a hole and keep going inside the wall. They will not turn back to fight. Mm -hmm. 
So this is the first time we're seeing, I mean, look at um, even the gubernatorial candidate that didn't win in Lagos. He's still doing stuff. Unlike what we used to see with Jimmy Abadji. That mainly elections is over, he just goes quiet again. and comes back again another four <laughs> years. So we want to start to see a new crop of, uh, what's it called, um, leaders. Because again, maybe it will change the minds of people. Yeah. So, I, I mean, the truth is, this is a big issue. Yes, it's it a is. criminal offense. Yes, it the is. kind of offense that this has happened, that is this one, is the same. You, you can put it side by side with Hush Puppy, as far mm. as I'm concerned. Because yeah. a, a lie it's is a fraud. lie. It's yeah. fraud. It's fraud. You yeah. know, it's not so. Are we saying that it is okay to have fraudulent people at the helms of affairs? No. What it means is that you will never find justice in your life. Mm. What it means is that you will never, you know. But let, let, let's take another caller. Um, you're live. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Go ahead, please. Yeah. And I want to make my own suggestion Qu quickly. on the topic online. So the reason is that Nigerian is facing a lot now. <laughs> if we want to focus on Chicago, Chicago State University, so when is Nigeria going to... I can hear myself out. When is Nigeria going to move forward? Now, look at the rate of dollar. Dollar has high exchange rate with Nigeria now. So, now, in NFPC, the federal government is owing NFPC such amount, which makes the increase on fuel. So, now, if you want to move on, okay, let's see about uh, this, uh, this result of the university. Okay, then I'm going to focus about what Nigeria, the challenges Nigeria are facing. Look at the youth. Look at uh, uh, what, what should I what should I call it? Look at the education education system. Education system is going down. So when are, when is Nigeria going to move forward? Okay, so, so we should not bring politics into this. So we should just so we should leave the certificate issues and focus on Nigerian governance, right? That's yeah. what I mean. All right, thank you so much, Gabriel. So I want to I want to I want to explain something from my business mindset. I will not go to politics. Yeah. So okay. There was something that used to happen when I was actively in, in retail business. I grew to the point where my suppliers would give me goods worth 10 million, 5 million. This was, I'm talking about 10 years back. Just because I would never take a penny. Even sometimes when they oversupply me, they don't know. I return it back to them. Integrity is a bigger currency True. for any economy. Because there's a way that you, you would have so much integrity that your people will trust you enough to want to do business for you and bring us out of this lacuna that we're calling, you know, an economic crisis. Do you understand? When people don't even trust you to uphold the truth, then you are a problem. Now, a lot of people have done businesses based on trust. You understand? I know that Dami, if I give her goods worth a hundred million naira, she will sell it and return my capital. In the time that we have agreed, I will give her 10 billion tomorrow. And I know that she would also repay. So integrity is not a subject to push over. It's a subject that affects everything. It, is, it affects one, it affects all. When we have a system that is literally working against us, how do we fight these things? I think that's the problem. Because to fight it is not the problem. Okay. It's how to even fight it that is the problem. Yeah, because you, you say when, when, you, when this, um, the politicians, the people at the top, it's easy for them to fight certain things. Like what Atiku is doing right now. I don't think a common person would have been able to go that far. You don't have the money. See? You don't have the means. See? That's my point. So, I mean, you, when you say Nigerians are just, you know, maybe they're a bit laid back. And so, you can't blame an average Nigerian because I feel like I've seen Nigerians try... But then because of the kind of system that we have, it is working against us. And at the end of the day, nobody wants to sacrifice their lives just because of a Nigeria that has refused to work. Hmm. Let's take another caller. You're alive. You want to sacrifice your lives just because of a Nigeria that has refused to work. Okay? Go ahead. Hello, yeah. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Go yeah. ahead. Yeah, my name is Dr. Ifani from Abuja. I called earlier, so okay. you didn't get my name. Oh, okay, go Dr. ahead. Dr. Ifani from Abuja. Okay. So, uh, I think, like what you said, the problem of Nigeria is the issue of integrity. Whether we like it or not, nobody wants to do business with a fraudulent country. Absolutely. 
the Naira is falling, investments are not coming in, are symptoms of the fact that we are not, we don't, we're not a country of integrity. So we cannot continue to hand over our children this kind of country. We must, there must be a stop. The lady was saying that the system is so strong. Why would we, won't it be strong? If the system is wrong, it will be strong for the few who want to do the right thing. Mm. But if the system is right, it will be strong for those who, few people who want to do the wrong thing. Mm. So we must build a system of integrity. If this country must survive. Thank so you. That, that our mindset must start changing. The reason why you can't find the police today is because it's a corrupt system. Yeah. So integrity is key to whatever, if whatever. So what are people about can do today, whether you like him, whether you hate him, he's doing the right thing. Yes. Well, we must hold our leaders to account. If I hold my leader to account, I hold your people to account, we have the country of integrity. And that's the beginning. That's the mindset I want. Let us start with having a change of mind. We cannot be bread and butter economy. What I'm going to eat, what I'm not going to eat. No. Thank like, you. Uh, uh, the reference you made about a retail business. People can give you millions. Mm. Uh, those days we used to go to China and collect millions. Yeah. But nobody on the fact that our letter of credit are no longer being on other approach. Mm. Look at what we are saying now. Our country is, our president is in Forja. So what are we going to do? He's destroying the system. Thank so you. Please, let's, let's remove politics. Doctor, if I... Focus on changing the system. Thank Absolutely. You. Thank you so much. I do think we have comments. Nigeria. Mary, go ahead. No, you were going to say something. Yeah, I think the only thing I just have to ask ourselves or ask all of us is, are we ready? Mm. That's it. <laughs> it's okay to banter here about it, but are we ready? Um, I think I watched a movie, I don't remember the name, either Default or something. Um, her child was wrongly killed and everything, and mm. she fought. Yeah. She fought. She didn't win regardless, but, you know, I think almost 10 years after, before there was justice for it. So the question I would say again is, are we ready? Because it's a long fight. Because you remember that it's even right. during Buari's time, you know, we were also doubting that Buari went to secondary school. <laughs> so, so this thing is, the, like, like we were saying, pigeon, the matter long. It's long. Do you get You know what I'm even saying to you guys? Yeah. I've said this thing several times that in Nigeria, they say to enter politics or whatever, you just need a living school certificate. Yeah. You don't even need a university yeah. degree and all yeah. of those things, yeah. right? So, in all honesty, right, Why as, you? as, yeah, <laughs> you now lie just bring a primary it. school certificate, except if you are trying to tell me now that there is no primary school certificate. But even the secondary school that he went to, <laughs> he graduated before it was established. <laughs> so, you see, <laughs> oh, oh my God, oh my God, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. No, no, no. Well, I think Nigeria could be better, really, really and truly. I think he's doing the right thing, regardless of whether we like him or whether he's doing it for his own selfish interest or not. Like, like our last caller rightly said, he's doing the right thing. Well, the Supreme Court has it all, Shah, at the end of the integrity. day. Integrity, integrity, integrity. That's my final word. You, Auntie, what are you saying? Final word. <laughs> you say are, you are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready to fight? My final word is please, Supreme Court, because that's the highest court in Nigeria. You should please rule this case fair and square. They should also be aware of the political tactics of these politicians because. Both presidents, Bola Ahmed Sinubu and even Atiku himself, mm -hmm. are both playing a political game here. Mm. So the so the Supreme Court should be very, very careful. Mm. About, in on it. See? You see, these are the issues. I just said, let me not say that one, but see, that one. <laughs> the court is also in on it. That's why I'm saying that. I hope that you can actually rule this case square and fair. If they rule it square and fair, then I think that we are good. Otherwise, we move, we continue. We move, we move, we <laughs> continue in our wahala. <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> mm, do I have something to say? I feel like um, I have benefited a lot, you know, from just being my honest self, right from when I was a child. My father, too, you know. Yeah, we might not have a lot of things, but at least, you know, there are some things that will point out to say, yes, we did this and we're proud of those things. And, you know, that fulfillment is something you cannot even buy, even if you had billions um, if I were the president, you asked the question earlier, if I were the president, if this is really true, that there was a forged certificate, and you are forgiving people. People have already actually even said they should just let him be, let him continue. Yeah, just the right But thing. what we just need is some level of admittance and honesty to say, you know what, well, yes, this was done, you know, but because I need to get this done. 
And let's see some level of honesty, but that's never going to happen because we ne we can never admit. <laughs> An African parent, <laughs> they should admit that they are wrong. <laughs> we can never work. admit. <laughs> well, <laughs> we apologizing you know, that we couldn't take comments. I don't know what happened today, but I think we couldn't take comments. But thank you so much. Now, before we go, thank you, Mary and Dami. I think we had fun, even though we we're running away from the topic. Thank you to all the people that called because your call helped us <laughs> to keep quiet. Before we go, ensure you follow us across all our social media handles at Wayshow Africa. You can interact with us further. Listen to our podcast as, as well on, on Spotify at Wayshow Africa. Um, make sure to share, like, and share with families and friends to also invite them to watch and follow the conversation. Now, if you missed our quote from the Minister of Interior, he said there is a foreign tendency, affairs. foreign affairs, Abi, a tendency to always try to distract people on such frivolous, that's not a frivolous issue, young man. As opposed to facing the major issues of development, we don't have time to waste on that. This is from Yusuf Tuga, Uncle Foreign Minister of Affairs. It's not a time wasting, a time -wasting thing because it's going to affect your integrity as a, com as a country. We'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screen. Ciao.